Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new piercing reaction video. Hello girls, hello Darjeelings. How, how, hello Darjeelings. What is the Darjeeling? How are you all doing? What is the tea? Hopefully you are all doing wonderful. So today we're doing something a little bit different than my normal piercing stuff. Instead of reacting to people piercing themselves at home, I thought we'd react to professional piercers going wrong. Now, before I jump into this video, I wanna quickly say, please do not get scared. This is not gonna hopefully scare you. Um, still go to a professional. This is very rare cases, but unfortunately sometimes some professional people aren't amazing. It's still so much better than going to like your, your friend down the garden and going, hello garden, hello garden, pierce my nose with your stapler, like, no. But anyway, please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell and hit the uh, thumbs up because it really helps me out. But let's not beat around the bush, eh, and get straight on to these <gasps> piercers. Things are... I'm, I'm unwell. <laughs> so this person's getting a belly button pier- What is that weird clam? Oh man, okay, hold on. It's okay, you're okay. Oh my God, it's literally inside her. Okay. Oh, she pulled it out, oh no, what was that? Why are you using that weird clamp? Like what, why are you not using a normal clamp? Oh my God. Is that the same needle as well? Have you just like, you, are you using the same needle that you just put in and then pulled out? What is happening? Good job. What is happening? I think we should get a discount. <laughs> you should get more than a discount girl. And then it just uh, finishes. What on earth? I don't understand what that weird sort of plastic clamp is. I don't get why you're not using normal clamps. You can say it because of COVID and trying to use disposable ones or whatever, but that like, you, you, when you use a clamp, it's not dirty. You sterilize it in a machine. Outside of COVID reasons, you're saying that suddenly all of a sudden every single studio is now using dirty clamps over and over again. Obviously not. So to, to use COVID as an excuse just seems bizarre to me. Like I don't understand what you're using that weird plastic clamp for. And the fact that like the needle went into the belly button and then like she kind of like wiggled it about and then pulled it out and then re-pierced it with the same needle. Like what are you doing? Okay. Oh, we got a YouTube video. We don't know we have YouTube videos. So I want to hear everything that's happening, but there's music in the background. So I'm going to have to like cut the audio in the video in and out just so I don't get any copyright strikes. So they're getting a nose piercing. What's ha Oh God, what's happened? She was freaking moving me. She messed. She she she, she kind of like pulled her then with her nose. What are you doing? Hey Chantel. Hey Chantel. Did it go through? Not yet. Chantel. It hasn't gone through. Why has it not gone through? What are you doing? Sorry, I'm gonna touch your needle, but I'm not gonna touch. Why are you? Yeah, she. Just Why did you just? That's no, she didn't move. She just said she just moved. Why are you touching the needle? And he just paused it a second. She just said, I'm gonna touch the needle, but nowhere near the actual piercing hole itself. But you're gonna thread the needle through the nose. So your dirty hands that you haven't sanitized or like got gloves on because you've just come from somewhere else in the shop. You've then touched the needle, which is gonna go through the nose, which is gonna contaminate. Wow. And the one who actually did the piercing said to the other woman that she had jumped back. No, she didn't. Not at all. She just jumped, that's all it is. No, she didn't! Even the smallest movement yeah. knocks everything out of place. She literally didn't! Why is this person not wearing gloves and she's playing with a piercing? You're a literal piercer. She's just got such a tiny nose, Kate. She's just she got, got such, such a tiny nose. nose. Yeah, blame the client. Blame the client. Once you jerk, it kind of changes everything She didn't it, so. jerk! She's really trying to push this narrative that it was the girl's fault. You clearly didn't know what you were doing and you messed up. Admit it. Yeah, she just jumped a little bit, that's all. No, why do you keep saying that? It's a super easy fix. I'm actually like, sorry, I'm actually really worked. Like, this is horrific. Like, what are you doing? You fucked up and now you're blaming the girl multiple times when you've been filmed. I had to stop watching it because it was frustrating me too much. What the hell? What the hell? You pulled on her, which made her move towards you. And it, again, it was still only a fraction. It was hardly a jerk. Like, what are, you, what are you trying to, what are you doing? And then I can't believe the fact that the woman, that the other woman, Chantel, came over touched the needle and said, oh, I'm not touching it by the hole, whatever, but then threaded the whole needle through her nose. Okay, so, oh God. Oh, is this one of those awful ones where it's like, hello, I'm gonna stretch her ear up to a thousand in one go. If I'm, if I remember rightly, I actually think this Instagram is like, we've reacted to him before doing this same thing to a guy. I'm not too sure, but I think we may have seen this person before. So it, here he goes again, right? So he's already done one stretch and now he's going up to the next one. I can't really tell what size it is just from like looking at it like this. That looks maybe four or five, maybe four or five millimeters in one go. Like just doing one jump is enough, let alone doing like z literally zero to f like four or five. Oh God, oh God. Oh, it's the way that it goes in is like juddering as well. Like it's not even like a smooth, 
That looks so big. That looks so big to do in one go. So that looks maybe about six, like maybe a six. It is kind of hard to tell just from like looking at it like this, but that maybe about six. Wow. Oh God. Oh God. I hope you love your blowout skill. Come to my studio, we'll give you a blowout. I, I can't believe that this is like, how is this person actually able to do this and like still have business? I don't understand. Like it is very common knowledge in the piercing world that this is not what you do. Like this isn't some sort of like secret thing that like no one knows about. Everybody knows not to stretch fast like that. It's like such common knowledge in the piercing world. So I don't understand how you could like, as a pierce so that you can do this and think, oh, it's fine. Doesn't matter that we're gonna skip, you know, 10 sides. How often do you do this that you don't put on your channel? Like, how often do you do this that you're not, like, as stupid? Like, what are you doing? Blowout scale. And blowouts are so difficult to heal afterwards. Like, if you blow your ear out, the chance of you having, like, a beautiful, perfect ear again is quite slim. So, wait, wait what? What's happening? What's this? What's, what? What's? What's happening? What? Nail clippers? What? What on earth? What are they doing? <laughs> I'm speechless. I generally like what? What is happening? What are they doing? Are they? Do I mean, I somehow feel like this isn't actually a professional doing this. Um, but what? I mean, if it is, then Jesus Christ! What are they doing? That tongue piercing is not going to heal. Oh my God! What on earth is? Isn't this like the worst thing? Oh, and then it repeats, goes back to the beginning. Isn't that the most, dis someone getting a nut tongue piercing and then like there's a knife next to their tongue and then some nail clippers and then some pliers. Uh, what were you doing? Like what was going on here, girls? Surprising people with elevator piercings. What? What? Uh, okay, I've just realized who this is. What are you doing? This is so, Oh, what this person's overreacting, but like, what are you doing? F wonderful, final result, amazing. I'm so glad. What are you doing? So I always, 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 always get sent Lulu's body piercings to react to. I always get asked to react to these people. Now, I actually used to watch them and follow them a long time. We're talking quite a few years ago now. I was actually quite chatty with them. We would talk a lot um, and we became friends and stuff. But I, I kind of like discovered quite quickly, a lot of the stuff that they do is stuff that I really disagree with. They're, I think I spoke about this in the last video, but like they've done stretching too quickly in videos. They've pierced loads of people, like pierced like multiple piercings in like a day when you shouldn't be doing more than three. Like, like I hate the fact that there was videos them like running in and out of the piercing studios and people were getting pierced and like then then they started doing like uh really sort of weird challenges like the blindfold piercing challenge and now they're doing this surprise piercing in an elevator like in 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 a, in a public elevator during the covid pandemic you're gonna surprise people with piercings in an elevator even though this was clearly staged the whole scenario is just irresponsible you are a piercing studio and you're supposed to be upholding like a professional piercing you know like a level but you're doing stupid things like this for clout internet for internet clout to get attention on tiktok to do all this stuff to trivialize piercings i just think it's so irresponsible for the size of your channel and the following that you have as someone who's part of your community i i saw the people who were commenting and the people that were in your video that were vlog it was basically just like young teenage girls and they're gonna see this oh he's doing a surprise piercing in an elevator or oh, they're doing blindfold piercing challenges all this stuff and they're gonna be like oh it's fine because the actual piercing studio people who i love and adore who are professional piercers are doing this stupid shit like so this girl is getting so this girl's getting a septum piercing oh dear oh did that wait wait, wait. Did, did she even like look where she was doing it wait what there was not, there was kind of like no looking. It kind of just happened. There was no looking. She just kind of was like, oh, here you go, slut it through. That didn't look like it went through any sweet spots, girls. That, that looked like it went through cartilage. I've just realized as well, this is the same account as the one that we saw at the beginning with the belly button. So is this like the same piercer? Revoke the license, girl. So let's see what's it. Oink jewelry. Oh, uh, copyright music, oink jewelry. So they're getting their ears. Oh, for God's sake, of course. Putting the biro right on the ear because, you know, can cross contamination. That's. I don't know why I'm shocked. I don't know why I'm shocked. Spraying the gun was their version of like cleaning and like decontaminate. Just spraying the gun with whatever. The, I don't know what there was it was spraying with. That's not cleaning. Can you imagine? Can 
No gloves, of course, will use as well. Oh, no, this is like an actual studio. She's got acrylic nails on, which you shouldn't have on if you're getting, like you're doing piercings. She'll be wearing gloves. Like, what are you doing? Like, what is this place? What is this place? And again, I don't understand why people, like, people always say, like, putting Sharpies and doing all stuff on the skin is fine or whatever. That's not what you do. Like, you're you're dotting this pen on your body and then the next person, then the next person, then the next person. Well, you, you're trying to, like, disinfect a pen, like a pen top, like. Hi, Victor. We're gonna show you how our piercing instrument works. Ooh. So we always sanitize She's the base of the, the instrument with a cleansing pad before use. That's not got. This is what the That's not going to do like. it. All sealed and sterile in the packet. So it just clicks onto the base, like so. So you, you're using a gun. So I just push it with force in the ear, like so. Wonderful. And as you can see, it's love to see gone it. straight into the butterfly at the back. Disgusting. It's not a gun, it's just an instrument that helps you push it through your It's a gun. It's a gun. What are you doing? It's a gun. Superdrug, what are you doing? It's so funny watching this though, because like there's one, the, can, did you notice one thing in that video that was like absolutely unacceptable? You've already got the gloves on. You're picking up all of this packaging and you've already got your gloves on. Do you, not, do you not know how germs work? Like, were those packages disinfected and cleaned before you started touching everything else? You're trying to demonstrate how you know what you're doing. You're trying to demonstrate how you're safe you are and trying to demonstrate how clean you are, yet doing one massive fundamental thing that's completely wrong. Like, like what are you doing? It's a bit like when 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 all like the, the current situation happened and we were all being like really uh, lockdowns and everything. You would see people outside wearing the gloves, like walking around doing their daily activities. It's like, it's literally doing nothing. You're still just contaminating everything else you're going into. Like these gloves aren't like repelling the dirt. Like, so you've picked up this box and you picked this other stuff that could have dirt on it. And then you're putting it onto the gloves, which then you will then use to touch the gun and then touch the patient. Like, what are you doing? And this whole thing of it's not a gun, it's a gun. You literally put it into an apparatus that replicates a gun like what are you do? do not go and get your ears pierced at super drug at Claire's at accessories at any of these other places that do it I'm not sure what other places There's loads of places now that do this like piercing gun shit don't go to any of these places go to a professional these people are not professionals and they don't know what they're doing oh for God's sake Oh no. Oh, well, I hope you're happy, mum. You traumatized. I'm not even going to replay that. You traumatized your child. I hope you're happy. That girl looked like she was in severe pain. She was screaming her head off. Obviously, I've blurred her face out because I don't, I don't really feel comfortable putting kids on my channel. The fact that you needed to distract your child with an iPad in order to get a piercing just shows that she shouldn't be getting a piercing. No baby, no infant needs ear piercings. I'm done with that conversation. Like, I'm done with that conversation. I don't care where you're from. I don't care what, what normal for you. Piercing an infant's or baby's ear is completely unnecessary. Oh, so this person's getting their nose. Yes! God, they're, they're more excited Good than him. So, so was there any, I think there's any markings or anything. <laughs> I mean, maybe they wanted the piercing there, but this positioning of this nose piercing was a choice. Like, I hope that he chose that and they just did what he wanted because unless, like if that wasn't the case, what was this piercer doing? Like, why is it pierced so far forward on the nose? It just looks bizarre. Am I wrong? Do you not agree? Like, was that just, what, what, what? Okay, so, oh God, no, no, I can't write music. No, 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 go, wait, there we go. Okay, oh, almost done. So this person's getting a scoop piercing. Oh God, I mean, so scoop piercing is basically like a, like almost like a snake eye, but it kind of goes like on top of the tongue, like a surface piercing, rather than like between left and right of your tongue. Um, it's still kind of frowned upon. I would still definitely say don't get this done because you're still pinning your tongue together and that's absolutely not okay. If you want two piercings like that, just get venom piercings where the two vertical ones either side. Do not get this one. It's still gonna make you talk funny. It's still not gonna be very good. Now, yeah, technically this piercer didn't mess up, but even just like doing this piercing is very questionable to begin with. Well, guys, I'm well and truly aboard the trigger train. Choo choo, speed down the railway, about to crash from a cliff and plunge to my death. Babish. Oh my god, what the absolute hell? This has been a lot. This has been a lot. Again, I want to quickly stress, please don't get scared. Please still go to professional piercers because this is very rare. But still, what the fuck? <laughs> but guys, please, please, as I always say, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. 
a massive shout out to my gorgeous patrons whose names you can see on the screen here. Thank you, thank you for being a patron. And an extra special shout out to my top tier patrons Alicia Marie, Amanda LePayton, Austin Fielden, Booster.93, Brenna, Casey, Cassie Hill, Catba Cuban, Carrie Evans, Chill Herman, Joseph, Christopher John, Robbie, Corin Pemberton, Demetri Shettle, James Burgess, Jessica MG, Join Your Price, Caitlin Wright, Kat L, Kelly Bowser, Chloe Louise, Laura, Lucy Robbins, Crisp, Megan Holly, Maura Ganey Wolf, Samuel Patterson, Stephanie Tech, and Suz Mac. Thank you for being my top tier patrons. You guys are incredible on Schlie. Come and follow me on social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. All that stuff is linked down below. Oh my God, this is a lot, girl. Anyway, be fabulous, amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. And don't let the bitch have to tell you that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless.